I'd like to introduce you to Adobe Sticky Notes uh, and they are available within Adobe Acrobat, that's Adobe Acrobat Professional and also the Adobe Acrobat Reader. Please note that you need to have uh, Acrobat Reader version 10 or above in order to get this to work. I tried it in version 9 and that this particular feature isn't available. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you how to create a PDF. Now these are very straightforward. I'm going to right click on this particular image here and go to convert to PDF. So that's the facility that I have on this uh, computer. Uh, if I didn't have that facility then I would be able to go to Word. So if I just go to... I can get it from here. Just go to Word and then drag my image across and then I could also go to Save As PDF. So those are two ways in which I can uh, create a PDF document. Now, from within my PDF document, what I'd like to do is I'd like to start putting some sticky notes on. So I'm just going to go here and click on Add Sticky Note. And let's say I wanted to um, let's say I wanted to put a label on here, so this is just a simple label, perhaps you know, very useful for something like ESOL, uh, and I just type in the word hair. So I can minimize that, just put that up there. Uh, let's say I want to add another one, and I might put ear. ear. And again, I can just kind of move this around out of the way and I can also close it if I want to so I can close these and then I'll just do a final one and I'm going to call it I okay so so sticky notes are as simple as that and what's really nice about them is I can roll over them and uh, it it will actually indicate what the content of those sticky notes are and I can click on them and I can see the text within the sticky note. Now not only can I put information like that in there but I can also ask questions. So for example I could put in what colour are the eyes? And with a question mark. Okay great. So um, so I've now got a question in there. So, um, so that's great, but what's even better is that I can set that for the student, let's say, and ask the student to respond. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to minimize that, and I'm just going to save this, and just keep it as face and now I'm just going to close it. So I have been working in Acrobat, Adobe Acrobat Professional, which is the which is the version that you need to pay for. But what I'm going to show you right now is that you'd also be able to do this in the free version of Adobe Acrobat Reader. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to be opening it in Adobe Reader 10. So this is a feature of 10 that I'm showing you. So if you so I would urge you to upgrade to 10 if your machine is running a different version. Okay, so here we go. And as you can see, I've got the sticky notes here. But what's really great is that I can now right click and actually reply. So the question, what color are the eyes? I can write blue. And I can save that. So you can see that there's when I click that you can see that there's been a reply. Uh, we can also go to comments here and we can see that these are uh, these are the questions here. You can see there's been a reply. I'll just tick there, click there and we can see what the reply to these questions are. Now this SS, this STTMOR, that's my login because I'm logged into this computer. That's why you're seeing that. If a student had logged in, then what you would see is their user ID. So this is a great way 
for students to be able to respond to questions. Um, you can also, in fact, move these things around. So there would be no reason why this couldn't become a drag and drop exercise whereby the student is required to move this up to the hair area, uh, this to the eyes area, etc. So it's a very, very versatile tool. It's generally installed on all the computers here at Barnet and Southgate College and I would definitely urge you to experiment with it. Um, I think you know uses would include health and safety um, and many other ones.